hello everyone today i'm gonna share this amazing e-commerce website with you so this will be our phone page or the client side of our application and also you're gonna handle one a backend server using node.js to support our stripe payment authentication and other purposes and we're using that a vjs and the Telwin CSS to creating this amazing design and layout and also we are using that React Router DOM to create the pages and other things using the Redux Toolkit to handling our state management and also the Firebase for our authentication. So this entire project code it will be available in this repo for the bit uh, e-commerce YT and here i'm going to show you actually how you can configure that of course you need to have the all the credentials to run your project and i'm going to show you how you can do that but before that we're going to just have a quick overview of what we are going to have it and by the way entire video enter the project it will be free so you can use it in your uh, project or portfolio wherever you want is up to you so now in our page in the first parameter we have our header with the logo and the right side the other uh, items then we have our banner which is a custom banner and then we are having our products so what we're gonna have in the product we are having uh, some information about if it's inside or not and the image and you see the effect when we are hovering on the image we are getting add to cart button available here and also the title and the category if we click any of the product you see it's just taking to the single product description with the product and uh, creating a little bit of slag with the title so now here we are having our title the new uh, the new price and the previous price and also we have the customer review and the details and also for added to cart functionality and other parameter so now if i want to click uh, add to cart any of the product let's add two product in the cart but if i click on the product in the cart i cannot view the Card page because I need to go through the login and also we are having another page we are actually for the success screen when we're gonna have a successful payment as you see we cannot go that route because it's all are protected and we are doing it by maintaining that encryption because uh, nobody can go and view any other card or any success page without the proper credential so now let's go to create a success payment authentication as you see we are using the google if you want to use the github the code is there just put your credential so let's click on that it will open a new window if i click ok so now it's gonna go through that you see now i'm having all my credential here now if i want to go back and visit the card you see i'm having the card and from the card you can increase the quantity as you see whenever you're increasing it's increasing too you can decrease it and you can delete it and by the way you can receive your entire card so you can go back to shopping again so just let's add more product in the card because we're going to create a payment instances okay we can also add from here and okay so let's go home okay so now as you see 660 we are actually going to create for the payment and previous payment it was 515.99 and by the way there is a lot of things you can do about it and by the way it's also fully responsive and fully customizable so you can make it manageable the way you want so if you view the car right now you see okay i just need to go to create the uh, see responsive instances so you can modify it a lot if you want to it's up to you so now let's go and create the checkout if i click uh, proceed to checkout and as you see my backend server is running here which i'm handling with node.js so within that parameter with the proper credential I, I will be able to create the checkout so now as you see i am now landing here in the stripe payment authentication the checkout on dot com and now here what is happening i'm using the vgs not the next just parameter so you see it looks quite good so now here i have the credential or whatever the products th i added here so now let's go and create a put and dummy email and also the 4242 which is the default uh, stripe payment card method and i will put a valid date one two three four cvc just my name and pay so now after paying that amount what's gonna happen you see it took me over in a success screen with the proper credential with the session id and other things 
previously we cannot come here but right now we are able to come here and as you see our card is empty so our card is empty and also now we can go continue shopping but what about the payment we have been done as you received let's just refresh the tab and after refreshing as you see we have been received our successful payment checkout see how cool is that so this is a very good project if you are starting learning react or if you're in the midterm or in advance you can modify it a lot so i think if you're having that code it will be very very useful for you to create something more amazing so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you how actually you can clone and what kind of credential you need to run this entire project and to do these things first thing first i'm gonna close my previous running project and i'm gonna start popping up the new one and so i have one folder here which is the build folder and what i'm gonna do i will just go back to my repo and you can simply download download that one or you can use any other method but for me i will just go with that https i'm gonna clone that one so here i will open my terminal and in that terminal i will clone that entire repo so it will be okay just give it time to load okay it will be git clone and then uh, oops it will be git clone then my repo link so that's the very simple way to clone that repo as you see cloning is done if i put alice as you see i am now within that project so let's go inside that project with uh, e uh commerce yt okay uh sorry cd it will be wait yt and i will open it inside my code editor okay now it's open so once you will be finished uh cloning or downloading you're gonna have these things first thing first is the server and also the client from the client we are running our front page of the application where everything going to be inside the source folder and the public where is the logo and in the asset all the images are available which we are using in our project and all the data how actually we grab the data from that uh, fake store server is uh, proper actually you can now put any of the server you want and you will get the data just see what kind of key feature you are getting with the data just uh, or, or what you call just, uh, just uh, rename the key and it will just work for you fine then we have the pages all the pages here you can add the pages as you want we have the redux for all the redux store configuration then we have that ui the same like the component so you can also rename it as component if you like it so so in the component we have all reusable component and then in the app which actually going to the, the seeing the main our home page and then we have the main where actually we created our route so that page so whenever you are creating a new single pages you need to define it here okay and by the way we also have been maintaining the 404 page and now this is the config file so you need to have that stripe publishable key i'm going to show you how you can do that so in the server it's just simple way we did it it's just an index file we're actually handling the pay method with the post intricate and also we have one env file where actually we are getting that our port and stripe secret key and there is one more thing you need to maintain that firebase config.js you need to put all your credential to go through that so now either you are using yarn and pm or pnpm that will be up to you i'm using the pnpm or maybe you are using the npm so it will not create any cross contamination if you are going through in a proper way if you're using the uh, uh, npm just remove that pnpm log.yml and just put that npm install or with uh, or earn uh, earn then it will uh, do the same and here also remove the pnpm if you're using the npm use the npm install and how you can install the things so i'm using pnpm put an alice you see i have two folder so i will first go in my client folder so cd client and i'm going to write that pnpm i so it will install all my dependencies and in the different uh, dependencies scroll you're gonna have c the redux stripe axios topnet so dot env firebase all things is there so it will install all of the other properties and also what i'm gonna do put the cd and i'm gonna go with that server and i'm gonna run that same thing 
which will be that PNPMI. Okay, so now what it will do, it will install all my dependencies. So while it's installing, let's just go and uh, put a demonstration here. How actually you can go with that Stripe things? So first thing first, let's go to the home. So once you cre create your own account, just sign in to the Stripe and there is a tons of video in the YouTube and also in my channel. There is a few videos where actually you can learn how we are going to configure the Stripe. So now once you finish the sign in, you're going to have to create an application. I created several and just go through that application and from where actually you can get the credentials. Just click on the developers and here on the api keys you see there is a publishable key and there is a secret key so you can show the publishable key but don't reveal your secret key so these two key actually are uh, relatable to go through all of that and there is one more thing for the firebase just sign in with the fire uh, and google in the firebase and then just go to the console and uh, from the console what actually you might do you need to create a project so i have created a project already so that's my project which actually running and which i'm using for the sign in and for once you've done everything you're gonna get the code beforehand but if you didn't get you just need to go with the project setting and as you see in the bottom i'm not gonna reveal everything so there will be the code so in the bottom at the firebase config you need to just copy this entire thing just copy entire things and then it will just work as well okay so these two credentials you need to have to run the application and of, of course for the authentication parameter you can see how many people are logged in and what kind of things is going on in your application so now i think everything is done yeah okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make that pnpm as i'm using the width so it will be pnpm there and also for the server what i'm gonna do is that pnpm start and for the npm just the command it will be changed nothing more so it's a 5173 so let's open it okay as it's pretty cool it's already open but if we go back here as you see we cannot go with the firebase configuration and of course we cannot go back to the payment authentication and how actually you can configure it first thing first you what I told you, you need to do everything for that Firebase config. And then one more thing is that you need to go with that .env where actually you put the next, next uh, publishable key. And by the way, if you don't keep it here, no need to keep. If you don't want to maintain the .env file, just run. it's uh, no problem with at all. You can go with the card and here you can put your publishable key. So I you can just inject directly. If you put in .env file, you need to configure the .env or either you can directly inject it here and for the server side authentication you need to just go to the env file and put that stripe secret key right here otherwise it will not work okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, get every single uh, properties this all three properties from my previous project and then let's see if it's running or not i already got all the things pouring here and of course if you think this video is helping you and you are getting benefit with that please don't forget to like and comment on it if you need anything more than that and also please to subscribe my channel so i can reach more people with that kind of helpful video so now i already have all the credential which i have been just copy post from my previous project so now let's see if i just make a reload and it should work fine and let's keep the sign out you see it's signing out if i just want to click sign in so now it's giving all other things trust me if you configure everything properly it's gonna do the same for you okay so as you see so that's the project actually i just cloned from my repo and put that three credential for the firebase for the stripe okay and other for the dot env for uh, the port so that is actually the all things i have been done so let's see if we can now create a successful payment checkout and again and again do like the video and comments on it and subscribe please so now let's see we can create or not so i have my five pro product here so 540 before it was uh 5660 so now it's the 540 let's proceed to checkout and if uh, the checkout if uh, the stripe credential is okay then you will be able to go through that so let's see our server i think we may miss something yeah i need to put the credential which i didn't 
okay once i provide that that's fine so if you're having that same trouble just roll back to the file and it just check if you put the credential properly or not if not it will just give certain kind of error okay one two three and go with the name and pay so if i paid well of course then it will do the same thing coming in the success screen and you see it's just working fine and if i just reload on that we're gonna able to see something like everything is going to good okay you see 540 and also we're gonna popping up all the details which we have been done so i think it can be really helpful for you so now if you have any query about if you're not understanding how the file format is working just let me know in the comments below it's just a simple bit projects and i used only the jsx not any of the type script so if you have any configuration or if you have any inquiry regarding that comment in the video and if you want to uh, like um, contribute on the project just uh, clone that and use something just let me know in the comments i will make you as a contributor so you can contribute in the project let me know in the comment below if you want it or not and also if you are making it more beautiful i will get uh i will just choose a five person who actually can modify the design and give a very unique look i'm gonna provide a price for you okay so once you are giving uh finishing that and you are having a perfect blend of touch re renovating it and making it more beautiful then if the five person um I'll choose the five person and of course provide your whenever you're providing the link of your project provide your email also so that I can add it in this try payment and I can put the checkout for you okay so that is a beautiful things so you're gonna have this entire project now in your portfolio so I think it can really helpful for you and also it can be helpful for me if you just like the video and do subscribe okay so I think that's enough for today and we'll see you in the next video with something more.